From the start of our relationship, it was obvious your priority was to take care of me. In my highs and in my lows. In my brokenness, you always point me to Christ. You show me my worth through the eyes of the Lord. And I always feel so loved with you. Madison Taylor, from the first meaningful conversation we had, I knew you were different. Since then, I have quickly discovered many of your amazing qualities that I have learned to love about you. You are the most beautiful woman I have ever known in my entire life. You are a woman of vision, never content to settle for an easy life, but wanting to do great things for the kingdom of God. You bring me so much joy and laughter, more than I can express. Every day you bring a smile to my face, through anything, you make me a better person, and I can't imagine a future without you. In the very first book of the Bible, God said, It's not good that man should be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. And then we're told later in Scripture that two can accomplish more than twice as much as one. That was God's plan in the very beginning. Then when we get over on this side of the New Testament in Ephesians 5, I want to read this passage to you because it's the illustration, application of what I think he's talking about in Genesis chapter 2. Here's what he says. Watch what God does, Evan and Madison, and then you do it. Like children who learn proper behavior from their parents. He says, mostly what God does is love you. Keep company with Him and learn a life of love. Observe how Christ loved us. His way was not cautious but extravagant. He didn't love in order to get something from us, but to give everything of himself to us. He says, love like that. Madison, from this day forward, I promise to give you 100% of my love and dedication every day because you deserve all of it. I know that I don't need you. I need Jesus, but I choose you. Because of who Christ is in both of our lives, I've chosen perfectly. I promise to make Jesus the center of our marriage in every part of our life and to make every moment count for eternity. I vow to love you, support you, respect you. I vow to be patient with you and serve you. I vow to laugh with you and cry with you. Following your lead as you follow the lead of the Lord is my greatest adventure. And I am proud to stand by your side as your wife now and forever. I love you. I love you, Madison. Both of you have agreed together before God, before family and friends, with His and with their blessing as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Thank you being here. It really, really is a special time and these special occasions are more special when uh, the people that they love are here to share. And I want to encourage you to continue as they begin their life together as husband and wife to continue to pray for them and support them. <clears throat> I know you will. If you here happen to actually know Evan, you know that he's a man of integrity and honesty. When something doesn't feel right, he's not afraid to step up, acknowledge it, and fix it. Madison, my oldest and dearest friend, you look amazing. You surround yourself with quality people who bring out the best in you. 
Evan, welcome to the family. You and Madison already make a great team. This is evident by the way you care for each other and have overcome obstacles together. Evan is passionate, fully invested, and fully present wherever he is. And those are qualities that are increasingly rare to find in this day and age. He is a deeply loving brother I will always look up to, even if he copies my exact look and hairstyle for the rest of his life. 